Hello friends, how are you doing today? So it's been a long time since the last video. I think it's almost uh, one month since I released this last video. So today I'm going to share uh, a new project. Uh, it's related to uh, to library. So it's uh, it's just a idea to build a library for yourself or for your uh, for your organization so you can share the library and uh, you yourself can use it and other people if you share it with other people other people can use your library okay so it's a very good way to uh, to use the code uh, if the code is used for common purpose okay it's not for if the code is for uh, so it's going to be used for a lot of people so you can go make a library so you don't have to write the code again okay so so that's the idea about this v, uh, behind the uh, video and uh, let me show you what I what I mean and what I, I'm going to do and, uh, share this with you so this one uh, it's, it's a library okay so it's a, it's a very basic uh, backend library to handle the, uh, the, uh, the data in the spreadsheet, okay? So basically it's called create, it's create, read, and uh, update, and delete. So basically this library is used to create a new record in your uh, spreadsheet. So basically I, I take the spreadsheet as database, and for this database here, I have a user table here. So for this create, I'm going to create a new item to this user, user table. So this table can be changed to any other table you'd like to use, okay? So let me give you a very quick demo here. So let me create a new user. Uh, so for the front end, it could be a web application, but uh, for the demo purpose, I didn't do a web application for this video because it's going to make this video too long. So basically, this could be your front, uh, front end, so you can Collect some data from your users for, for, for the from the end user. So here, I'm going to collect the first name for this user. So I put my name here. So you can do it something at the front end and collect the data in your form. So I get the first name and I get the last name of mine. And uh, I think I only collect uh, first name, last name, and email address. Okay. So you can add more. But this is just for demo, so I only uh, pick three items. As you can see here, uh, I added the first name, last name, and email. Okay, so I add a new record in this database, uh, in this uh, user table of this database, and a random ID, a unique ID is also generated for this record, and you have a timestamp for the created on. Okay, so for the time. When this record is created right so this is a function to create new items so this is a, a very important a function for a lot of applications okay they're following the same logic so if you are trying to use a spreadsheet as a, as a database this uh, is a very fundamental function to use okay so I built it in this library so you, you can if you like to use it you also can use it all right so let me try you to show how to read the data. So uh, for database, you can read the data from your database, right? So for this one, I only read all the record from this table, right? So for now, there is only one record. So if I run this function, I should get a one item. So this should be an item, one item found in the uh, in the sheet users, in the sheet user. Okay, the user is a table name, right? So if I go back to my log here, so this is the script file, and uh, if I check the log, okay, sorry, there is no log here. Let me check if I can see the log. I think, uh, read. Okay, I didn't load the items, so let me console.log, load items here. So this this uh this code is to load item to the the log file. So let me try to run this read again. I hope we can get the data. So one user found 
and if we check the code, the, the log in the executions, I should see the, as you can see here, I have an array of user object. So this is only one. So I got the ID and the created on date and all the other stuffs. All right. So this is a read about the read function. And let's do this update. All right. So for update, I added the gender from city and the country to be updated. But you can do other stuff. So I just give you a demo so you get the idea and you can use it for yourself. Okay. So first of all, okay, I need to get the ID. I need to copy the ID. So let me cancel this. Uh, I should be able to cancel it, but I didn't handle it in the code. So it's going to finish the code. Let me, co let me copy the ID and uh, let's do an update. So this is also can be used from uh, in, in, the, in your front end. So in your front end, you can uh, have a user interface for the end users to input something like this. So let's get the ID of the item, all right? So this is ID is the key to find the item in your table, okay? So the new gender, let's do a male, okay? So what is the phone number? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And uh, what's the city? And what's the country? Okay. So let's do the, the last one. And now, as you can see here, I uh, updated all the information about the gender phone, gender, phone, city, and country. And we also have a modified on timestamp here. For this item okay so this is a, a method to update item all right so if I so so this is about the update and the last one is to delete an item from your database okay so I also need to ID to identify which record should be delete from the table so let's try this delete and put the ID here for the record Let's try to run this delete function and now I delete. Okay, so there is a there is error here. Let's fix it very quickly. So I think I use a user here in the code, not this one. In the delete function. So this user is not defined because I changed it to item. So I should I should load this item. Alright. So let's save it. So basically that's all the basic functions of this library, all right? Uh, this file is not the library, uh, is not the a script of the library. This is just the demo script uh, to show you how to use this library. Uh, as you, if you can see here, uh, under this library section here, I have a library called AFEI. So this is a short, uh, short name for myself okay so i use it as a library name so uh, if you can use it if you, uh, once you uh, add this library you should be able to use the functions in this library so if you uh, enter the afei and you should be able to access all of these uh, four functions so these create items in a spreadsheet you can delete item from the spreadsheet you also can get all the items from the spreadsheet and the update items in the spreadsheet. Okay, this is the basic uh, CRUD functions uh, for a lot of apps. Okay, so if you try to create a new one, uh, you have uh, for create item, you need to pass a item object and the name, uh, the sheet name, okay, the name of the table, uh, I mean table is the name of the sheet, okay. So the name of the sheet and the spreadsheet ID. So maybe you, you can use it uh, in any spreadsheet. So you only need to get the ID of the spreadsheet and uh, pass it here in this function. Uh, because uh, in this demo, as you can see here, I, I, get the, I get the spreadsheet with this function to get the uh, active spreadsheet is get uh, the ID from this spreadsheet, okay? Because this file is linked to 
this spreadsheet. So it's got the active ID. Uh, I'm sorry, the ID of the active uh, spreadsheet. All right. So this is the sheet name I used. So this is a user. So I define it here. I also have another name called leaves. So let me give you a very quick demo to how to apply the, all of these functions to another table. So let's try to create a new uh, tab here. So called leaves. Okay. So first of all, I need to define some headers like this. So the the uh, so the first row is very important. Uh, is uh, is the row of keys for your table. Okay. Just like the just like the keys in the database. Okay. So for the ID, create on and modified. These are very important because I use. Uh, so this is must have three uh, columns for each each table. So for each table, you should have uh, at least have this, uh, three of them. So the order uh, where you put the them is uh, doesn't matter where you put them. You can put them at the end of the table. It's it's all it's all right. So the order is not a big deal. Uh, in, here, so you don't need to care about them. And for this leaves, I also use uh, first name, last name, email. Okay, so you can add other other stuff, maybe leave types, leave type, and days. How many days to leave? Maybe uh, start from, end, maybe a from date, and uh, to date. So it just collects the information about the leaves. Okay, so this is a new table, and uh, we can use it here. So let's change this sheet name to leaves. All right, just simple like this. So this is leaves. Make sure the name matches uh, the name in your code. Okay. So right now all of these functions are uh, are changed to the table leaves. Okay. So just simple like that. Uh, so let's try to create a new leaf. So let's try to create a new leaf. So right now, uh, this, all of these functions are targeting on the leaves table. So what is the name of the item? The name, I, I use the same. And uh, the last name and the email. Create here. Okay, I see something is wrong. Let me check what's wrong there. So this is the shift name. Create. That's weird. Maybe I don't know if I need to refresh this page. Let me try to run this again. Uh, this is weird. I should create a new record in the leaves. Invalid argument. What's wrong? Add that. Item, should name and the ID. I don't see this is wrong. So let me try to refresh this page. I think I did something wrong, but uh, it should work. Where is the menu? Okay, so this is uh, the script file of the library, so which I'm going to share with you. 
okay something wrong because I didn't see the menu so let's go to the script file definitely Okay, I think I know what the issue. I shouldn't have a line here because uh, for this line, I I told you to I just give a demo about that. So if I remove this line, uh, I should it should work. I think. Try to run this on open. So now I should get the menu. And if I now create a new record, it should I should create a record of leaf. So my name. So email. All right. So as you can see here, is uh, created to the leaves table. So that's the issue. I just fix it. So, okay, and uh, I think the other function should uh, work the, the same uh, as I give you, uh, give you in the demo for the users. Okay, so this is how you uh, can take advantage of the library. So I just give you a very quick uh, demo here. So in the library, you just add the library here, and as you can see here. Uh, you don't need to handle a lot of complicated stuff to, uh, because the library is going to do the most uh, uh, co uh, most uh, complicated stuff in the library and uh, you can keep your main uh, script as simple uh, as simple as possible as clear as possible okay so this is how we uh, why sometimes we use the library so let's go to the library file here so in this library file as you can see here I only have two files but we can add more uh, in this demo I only uh, use the, the, the basic uh, actions and functions in the spreadsheet so I created a file for uh, for the script called a sheet app so because all of these actions are, are used in the spreadsheet okay so if you can I can add more uh, functions about uh, in this library. Maybe some functions are about the Google Doc and some functions are about the Google Slides. So this can be done later, I think. Uh, so for now, we only focus on this library. So basically, in this sheet app, it's just a class of uh, the sheet app. So in this class, we define all the functions. Uh, if you can see it here, let me. Uh, so this is a function to get all items okay so here we can array of uh, a list of objects so this is the function to get the, uh, the the true functions to get the, all the items from your spreadsheet as you can see here we pass a ship name here to get the items all right so all the functions are defined in this class okay so we can use it use this class here so this is the uh, the function name for uh, the users for the end users to use the library so when when i use this library i add uh, my library name here so as you can see here we have four functions here which are defined here as you can see I have a create function and update function and uh, get items from sheet and delete from sheet so this is a functions defined for the library and uh, all of these functions are using this class okay this sheet app class so in this class uh, we're, we're going to define all the functions the real functions uh, which are going to take actions to do to, to do the actions 
uh, create item to the, in the spreadsheet and uh, update item in the spreadsheet and the delete item from the spreadsheet. So this is a logic to create a library like this. Okay, so basically, but you don't uh, have to do it uh, uh, with class. Uh, if you don't, uh, if you are not very familiar with the class, you also don't need to use it. You don't have to use it, uh, but the class is a, is a better way to uh, organize your code, I think. Okay, because a lot of code are reused. So you, 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 if you are trying to use a class, you can uh, simply function like this. Just uh, maybe you can even make your code just in one line. Okay, as you can see, there were just uh, three lines of this function, and all this complicated stuff are, are built in this class. Okay, so this is a very good way to help you to manage your code because of, uh, because as for this project is just only four functions, but if you have a, a, lit, a project is uh, much more complicated, uh, you have a lot of functions, and uh, if you don't use class, it could be very difficult to manage. Okay, so once you uh, build your class, you need to deploy. Okay, you need to deploy it as a library. All right, so you need to select the type as a library and uh, you give a description of your library and uh, deploy it and uh, you should see your deployments here okay so this is version 4 and uh, another stuff you need to make sure your library your file is shared okay or other people cannot use your library right here uh, i think there is a nose here so to let other people and groups to use this library, share this project with them. So basically, you need to share this file uh, to the person who uh, would like to use this library or uh, some people in your organization who need to use this library. Okay. So for this library, I, I already shared it. Uh, so anyone on the internet should uh, be able to use this library. So I will put this, um, so let me show you how to use a library. So first of all, let me remove this library. So the library has been removed. So and as, a, as you can see in the library section here, I have a add, add a library. So I only need to get the ID of this script file. So any library, which is public, I get the ID from the URL. Okay, which I'm going to share with you and put it here and looking for the library okay here I have four versions so you can choose the latest one but here I'd like to keep it here because this is for dev mode so if I made some change in my script file I can test it right away okay so this is better for me to do the test but if you need to use this the library as a production you should use a, you should need to choose a, a stable version of the library okay so now i leave it at dev mode and uh, add the library and if, if you can see it here and uh, if you try to add the library name here and uh, you can see the functions here are available for you to use and you should be able to to go okay so you can play with it now and uh, i think it, uh, it's the end of video i think i'm going to share this demo file and uh, the file for this library and uh, you can play with it and if you if you try if you're trying to build your own library maybe you can uh, take a reference of this file this library uh, you have other ways to do the library i think but uh, I think this my way is a little bit uh, easy for you to understand to uh, how to build your own library. Okay, so that's it for today's video. And uh, thanks for watching and thank you for your time. See you next time. Bye-bye.